and welcome to the British Shooting Show. Um, it's Shooting in Country TV, all the usual suspects, myself, Dave, Mick Garvey, all the others. Uh, it's a big show, crowds are piling in, so let's get in there and have a look. So I'm here with Frederick Hanna, who's the CEO of uh, Blaza in the UK at the British Shooting Show. Um, obviously on the deer stalking films, I'm using the R8 um, with the ultimate stock. Um, but Frederick's just going to tell us about this new rifle that's come out. So what I've got here, first one in the UK, is the R8 Ultimate Silverstone. Um, after we had the R8 Monza, which was kind of a racing themed rifle, we thought we'll, we'll come out with another racing model. Um, it features a fluted barrel suede leather inlays with silver stitching, a silver brushed action, and a DLC bolt ball, bolt head, and trigger. DLC stands for diamond-like carbon, which is a super hard, super durable coating um, to, to keep you all right out there. And then, of course, you have the lightning fast action of the R8 straight pull, an adjustable cheek piece adjusted to your body, adjusted to whatever scope you're using. Um, and really looking forward to, to trying it out together in, in March, aren't yeah, we? Brilliant, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that's obviously available in all the calibers. The same modularity as you know from the R8, yeah. anything from a 17 all the way up to your big African Magnums. Uh, you choose what you would like. Brilliant, great, thanks very much. So, we come over to the uh, Mauser side of things now because Blaser own quite a few different brands, which are um, Blaser, Sauer, Mauser, Minox, and Limke. Yeah, and then you've got the, the new Mauser rifle, which is just released. Exactly. Again, first one in the country, just released. The Mauser M18 Fenris, really a, uh, a long range or a foxing guy's dream, I always say. Um, teamed up together with GRS to get that full, uh, fully adjustable stock. So you got adjustable cheek piece, adjustable length of pull, really ergonomic uh, grip. You've got a 10-shot magazine included, and then you've got your tactical bolt uh, handle here for really fast reloading. Um, only makes sense to mount it on a bipod for your long-range shooting. On it at the moment, we have a 5 to 25 by 56 Minox LR. You can really dial your shots there, and you've got that 60-centimeter um, cold hammer-forged barrel on there. 22mm um, diameter, again, match great barrel, sub-MOA guarantee. Um, really looking forward to shoot that one on one of the first range days. Um, we'll definitely have them on our open day, so come by and try to shoot one. Brilliant, and obviously like all rifles now, that comes threaded through a moderator. Yeah, of course, M18 by one, um, super heavy barrel, so we need to go quite heavy on the thread as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And what's, what's the cost of this going to be? It's 14.99 retail, so uh, I think in a, in a really attractive uh, price bracket for a true Mauser rifle. So here with uh, Richard, who's from Ray Trade, and they're the company that distribute Spartan products. So uh, Ray Trade and Spartan sponsor the deer management films we do. And you'll see their logo on the start of the films. So uh, obviously you've got some great Spartan products here. Richard, can you just show us a few of them? Yeah, tell us about you, them. I'll run you through the range. Um, so we run a full range from entry level, which is 129 SRP. Um, everything about Spartan now is modular, yeah. which makes it Super interesting from a hunting point of view because we all hunt slightly differently. You've got tack there, sorry, pro hunt there. Um, that locks open, that's the difference from this body, but all the legs for every product interchangeable. Yeah. So Meaning you take that, a, a leg off that sort of head, for example. Take a leg off that, put that into that body, yeah. build a system that suits you. Yeah. Um, if you're shooting, I don't know, air rifle bench rest and you want something short under a bottle on an FX air rifle or something like that, you've got a nice little short leg there. Yeah. Um, if you're deer stalking or fox shooting, you want to run up the top of your vehicle, um, you've got something that extends and goes under there. And then again, if you want to go really long and have something you're kneeling shooting from, then you've got that option there. Right. Um, a variety of adapters to fit almost any rifle. Yeah. Um, so you can go for this an M-lock fitting, you've got Picatinny, you've got uh, Anschutz, um, 
anything just to replace your rifle, for example. That's the adapter there that comes with every bipod. Yeah, so when, when you buy it, it comes in a box like that. It does. Um, and then obviously you've got all your adapters in there. That's it. Fit it yourself, it's quite easy, isn't it? Super duper easy. Um, you've got, if you're going or singing or dancing, you've got Valhalla, which is uh, one of our best selling products now. Um, it is um, true to form with Spartan's modular um, philosophy on everything now, that that can live on your rifle by multiple adapters. You've got this great, what a better word, tactical bipod, you know, not dissimilar to a Harris, but much, much more refined in terms of where it goes, it can live on your gun, yeah. interchangeable legs as well. And for those of you using Primos, this can go straight on, this is called a Davros, yeah. and that works with your bipod as well. Imagine cool. that lives on the gun you've got there. Brilliant. Um, full range of merch as well, for the hoodies and the caps. Um, and this is something I think Spartan are going to do more with this products, aren't they? Yeah, there's been more and more demand for that, you know, merch for want of a better, you know, um, buzzword. Yeah. If you like. Um, our hoodies, caps, snoods, those kinds of things. Um, Spartan's always been quite big into that. It's a nice thing to be following. And it's nice quality, good, good fun. Cool. Great. Well, thanks very much. Thank Hopefully you. you guys heard that over the piano, which started up halfway through. Um, yeah, but thanks, Richard, and thanks for the support with the film. Thank you. Hi there, here we are on the Highland Outdoor stand and I'm with Marcus who's going to show us the very latest from Diana, classic brand, um, Reborn. Marcus. Yes, we have the new XR200 here, which is our new PCP air rifle. It's just the first one out of a complete series later on. Yeah. So we are now entering into the PCP sector with uh, this kind of item. So it's a completely made in Germany item. Um, and it comes with two different stock options. Right now we have here in front the synthetic stock with the color OD Green with some nice rubber inlays for more grip for the shooter. And it's incredibly lightweight. It is incredibly really? light. Yeah. It, it's a big, big looking rifle. It's quite a size. Yes. It's a great weight. Really it's impressive. Pretty light and handy rifle. Yeah. Yeah, it comes with an adjustable cheek piece. Also the wooden stock uh, comes with an adjustable cheek piece later on. This will be available about uh, mid of the year, I guess. So maybe June or July. Then you can choose also the, the wooden stock version. So we're going to have... 177 and 22, so 12 pound, and then FAC in larger caliber. Is that right? Is that the right? Yes, right. We have four calibers. It is, like you said, 177 and 22, which yeah. are limited to the 12 foot pound. Yeah. And we have the caliber 25 and 30 for the FAC version. Yeah. And what's the RRP in the UK? What's the price going to be? Uh, this one with synthetic stock will be around 1,000 pound. Right. And uh, yeah, the wooden stock version, uh, a bit more. Uh, you need to calculate this uh, again. But yeah. Well, hopefully, <laughs> Sorry. hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have a full review in, uh, in Rifle Shooter in the issues to come, or months to come, should I say. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Something a little bit different, a little bit unusual. Great weight and well, great price. Hopefully we'll see it in print soon. Hi there, and welcome to the GMK stand. I'm uh, a pleasure of Simon's, <laughs> Simon's company, one of the, the giants of the industry, obviously, in, a, in, a in certain thing. ways. Um, but this is it. Seiko 100, the flagship rifle. Shot it not long ago in Finland. Absolutely superb. Pricing. Yep. Yeah, I'll a, hand you over. Go on. It's a work. I think it's beautiful. It is a feeling ergonomic rifle, but it's obviously got some fantastic features too. So this is the Seiko 100 Explorer. This is Seiko's real first interchangeable barrel system rifle. So we have an interchangeable fluted barrel here with an integral mount. This is for a quick release rail. And when we change the barrel and the caliber, we also change the optic at the same time. And is so it a bolt head change as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah bolt, bolt, bolt head and occasionally magazine, a whole bolt. Yeah. And occasionally magazine, some magazines that cross over. So two bolts, retaining bolts, catch it. Very easy. You've got a little tool. Basically, there's two holes there. It's a captive bolt. Turn that inside. Oh. The barrel and the, and the mount and the optic comes off. Still that in your cabinet. Put the new one on with the new optic, ready to go. When you go back to it, yeah. you're back within under an MOA. So, right. guaranteed. So, guaranteed. 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 So, a couple of other features. We've got a very nice heavy wall carbon fibre stock. It takes quite a lot of te technology to get it feeling like this. Yeah. And then we've got some beautiful little leatherette style inserts. And this is the adjustable comb. So 
so we just press that button and then set it to whichever level you want leave it sock lock press it down we go we've got a leatherette grip and a leatherette four end grip and then the barrel in this case in the action is with diamond light carbon coating so dlc coating so this means it's literally bomb proof right it's a really good way of finishing up they're almost like cerakote but it's hard. And in this sort of style of the, the Lupo, that kind of that, finish. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So it's right. diamond like yeah. hard. It's cool. You'll also notice this little bit sticking out of the back. Decocker. Decocker. A decocker, or indeed. Is the, or in the German style, style hand spanel. Hand spanel. Hand, hand spanel. Okay, I remember that one. So um, basically, this locks the entire, this firing pin safety realistically. Yeah. Rock locks the bolt, locks the firing pin, locks everything. Yeah. So you can't catch it. It's very hard to de. You can't really decock it at this stage yeah. accidentally, like you can perhaps with a traditional bolt action. Well, I obviously I carry a lot of different rifles, and you kind of develop a bit of a nervous twitch, especially if carrying different <laughs> rifles every other day. Yeah. You're constantly checking the wing safety. Have I, have I knocked it? Have I turned it on? And that's one of the great things about the coffee. You've got that confidence that it's not been. Never going to go off. It's never going to go off, it's it's no matter which fence you fall exactly. over. So, yeah, yeah exactly. that's a great addition to a rifle. It is, and it's very easy to decock. Basically, you press it forward, it's quite stiff, it's designed to be yeah, quite stiff, yeah, it yeah. needs to be. And then you're ready to go, boom, reload, start again. The other thing we've got here is a Favran box mag, traditional Seiko <laughs> style, side by side, it's got the total control lap which you have to press Push the magazine, the yeah. same as before. The trigger is quite interesting because we can adjust the trigger not only for weight, weight to pull, we can adjust the trigger forward and back and an account and account to eat as well. Anacant. 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 It's a tricky one to say, Anacant. Anacant. Yes. So that's, that's quite a nice feature. And again, DLC finish there. Yeah. On the rifle, we've got a little field toolkit. So if we take this away, <laughs> inside we have our little um, emergency yeah. field in just in spanner yeah. for there. We also have the adjusting spanner for doing the trigger. So we can arrange the trigger in field as well. So just so an emergency little kit. Carbon variant and a beautiful wood one there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. RRP on this one. So this one's with the technology and the carbon yeah. fiber stock, it's quite hard to get yeah. it correct like we have. So the carbon fiber stock is 5995. Yeah. And the wood, which is great for carbon, it's a great for uh, high grade wood. Yeah. Um, with lovely finishes like the traditional orange pad, the rosewood tips, and the rosewood heel plate. Um, that's slightly cheaper at 499. But it's, it's, it's premium stuff, it's top it, of the line. It's the best products we can put in it. Yeah. Sacco. 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 There you go, some beautiful new Sacco's, and uh, we'll be reviewing them both in the magazine. But uh, as you can say, definitely something worth waiting for. The, the great guns, I've shot them before, and uh, really I can't wait to try them again. Thanks, Simon. Thank you, Paul. Cheers, mate. All right, so I'm with Nigel on the Ridgeline stand. Now, as any of you that watch Airgun Action, I hope you do, as you, if you watch Airgun Action, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the Grizzly jacket and Dirk Camo, but there is much more to the range than that. Nigel's going to tell us about a couple of new jackets. Okay, so it's new for this year then. What we've been thinking about is um, what we need in the range, the price points of those products, and what they should do. So functionality, price point, and are they actively a Ridgeline product? So the first one then is the Tempest Smock in our signature colour, which is teak. Yep. Um, and what we've gone for this year is a similar fabric to the, the well-known Torrent jacket, so it's waterproof, breathable, functional and hard wearing. We've put it into a smock style, which has got a hood with three points of adjustment. And as all you guys know, you need to have that teak on it, it needs to be moulded. Yeah, and decent sized hoods as well on Ridgeline Jacket, yeah, you wear a hat underneath them. Definitely. A half zip, so you can bend out if you get a bit too warm. On the inside we're using Peter liner, so you've got a bit of warmth when it gets a bit cooler in the winter. A nice bucket on the chest there, so you can carry your mobile phone or pellet or yep. whatever you need. An arm pocket, and then you've got the hand warm pockets here which go all the way through. So it's a through pocket, so if you're wearing a rucksack you can do your rucksack, but, but you've still got access to that pocket. Yep. You've got a slightly longer back, so that scoops, but that's going to come in at 120 quid. So, you know, not out of the way. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. So, not everybody likes smock, we know that. So, what we've done is we've got the Tempest jacket, 
This one will be available in the forest colour. Um, all the same, same features, all the same technicalities, um, but this time you've got a full length front zip on it as well. Right. Um, and also on this one, although you can't see it, that will have a black pop. Okay. Got, you know, yeah, that, yeah. That, that and color. another thing I like about this stuff as well is that it's quiet. Yep. So if you're wearing it out, if you're at live, live quarry shooting like I do, you really appreciate the fact it doesn't rustle. Yeah. So that's just two new products. Right, and the price on this one? Same as a smart, right. right, and that's another great thing about Ridgeline Kit is it's sensibly priced. Yeah. You, could, you don't have to be precious about using it, get out and use it properly, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it will stand up to it too. Correct. Brilliant, thank you. No worries. Here we are, Island Outdoor Stand. I'm here with, with Ryan, Ryan John, who's going to tell us all about the Kadex. So this is Kadex's Seven Stars Pro rifle. Uh, for those who follow the precision rifle shooting in Rifle Shooting Magazine, you'll know about the IPRF, which is the International Precision Rifle Federation and this rifle qualifies for their factory division. So what we've got, we'll start with the action, which is the heart of every rifle. It's a three lug action, DLC coated, super silky smooth. It has Kadex's own trigger, which is straight bladed, adjustable trigger for the pull. And the cool thing with this trigger is, it's adjustable from single stage or two stage. Um, available in 223, 6BR, 6 Dasher, 6.547, 6.5 Creedmoor, of course, and 6 mil uh, Creedmoor, too. So, Kadex have played an absolute blinder with this in that they've specced Bartline barrels from the factory. So, it's as good a barrel as you're ever going to get. Obviously, we've got their own muzzle brake on here. And then you can see the, uh, the very striking Kadex 7 Stars Pro chassis. So, we've got full length Arca Lock rail cut into it nice aggressive barricade stop the magazine catch is adjustable the pistol grip slides forward and aft for perfect gun fit and the quick release adjustments on here are brilliant so it's fully adjustable to make it fit and it even folds so easy storage easy carriage available in all good gun shops what do you think Mick? I'm thinking, actually, I might sell all my 6.5, my 2.43, my 2.23 and just get one all around it. I think so, it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, you can see it just holds its quality. Absolutely. And we press that in yeah. and it folds back and it locks up really steady too. Yeah. So that's the Kadex 7 Stars Pro. Right, back on the uh, Island Outdoor Stand, I'm here with the Christian Arms. I'm here with Hunter, who's going to tell us a little bit about the modern hunting rifle by Christian Arms. So the, the modern hunting rifle, it's a... Uh, Really, the, the name that we we chose because it's in our modern precision like realm of everything. But really, before we were going to make a name decision, we wanted to call it the modular hunting rifle because of the modularity that's behind it. So, what's really awesome about the modern hunting rifle okay, is it's a whole new look for Christian Arms. We've always done the sporter stock, we've always, but we really wanted to change it up. We're obviously going towards that futuristic look. Everything about this firearm is customizable. So it's going to ship like this. This is our first version, our first variant of the modern hunting rifle. Okay, so you have your obviously your flash forged carbon fiber um, forearm. Okay, you got the medium sized grip, and then the the first stock that we're coming out with, and it comes with the that hinge forward plate internal mag. What's really awesome about it is, like I said, it has 40 different configurations. So starting in quarter two, so that's going to be April, May we're going to be able to start shipping different forearms that you can actually interchange in like two minutes. If you wanted to change it over to a DBM, that's another two minutes. It takes super quick. Okay, if you didn't like this grip, maybe you wanted a vertical grip, or maybe you wanted a little bit thicker palm swell, you can switch that out in another two minutes. It's very modular. Very modular, so there's different, like 40 different configurations. But going with it, so it's going to ship with that 20 MOA rail. Again, we're, we're really focused on our Flash Force technology. It's weighing in about 7.6 pounds. Still with that Remington 700 platform. Uh, carbon fiber barrel, it's a different look on our carbon fiber that we have. Yeah. With with the brake, it's a custom made brake that's made specifically for our Ridgeline FST and then also our modern hunting rifle. Um, that helps reduce the recoil up to 30 to 40 percent. So like now it just feels like it. So. One question. So what's the retail price on this going to be? 
So retail, I have to make sure I'm getting it right. So it's like both for you. About forty-seven ninety-four for pounds. Four thousand seven ninety-four pounds. Like just looking at it in that sense. So thank you, Hunter. Appreciate that. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Hi there, we're on the Highland outdoor stand and uh, the lovely Ryan here is going to tell us all about the old new MDT chassis stocks. Okay, so we'll start off with the existing MDT ACC, which is the Premier. Well known, been around for a few years now and well loved by the guys on the PRS circuit. Um, this is here to stay, this is not going to replace it. There's still going to be absolutely a place for this. It's a fantastic piece of kit for getting into PRS with. We all know it, we all love it. Um, fully integrated Arca rail, M-lock slots for the weights, yeah. internal weights in there as well. Um, adjustable pistol grip fore and aft, yeah. adjustable cheek piece, adjustable length of pull. And the RRP on these is? Uh, these are coming in at approximately £1,419. Yeah. Um, so if we move on to the Elite, because there's a lot of new features this is the on all new, this. All new variant. Yeah, right? so this is... As the name suggests, it's designed for sharp end competitors yeah. Yeah. and if we start from the front, what they've done is we've got a new profile here for sliding accessories on and off easier. Yeah. There's no removable cap and that's for rigidity. The whole concept of this has been to make it more rigid right. and a less resonant platform because the vibrations have not been going to come through the stock into your jaw it whatever. just allows a faster follow-up shot yeah, yeah. so you can see how chunky the forend is um, the arca rail is actually rrs arca so you have the, the stops in there as well so bipods aren't going to move under recoil we've got a more aggressive barricade <laughs> stop and then this is really neat so particularly for the way 2-2 two is taking off yeah the mag catch is adjustable so it controls the height for two twos that the round is presented to the bolt, but also for some of the smaller cartridges like the six BRs and the six dashes, it means you're going to get perfect feeding every single time. Now the pistol grip is again it's new, it's adjustable, four and a half, and you've got a thumb shelf as well, so you can get a perfect 90 degree trigger press. There's the stiffening brace here, which again is all about reducing vibration and making the rifle as dead to shoot as possible. Yeah. We've got new adjusters which lock off much tighter and again that's to reduce the vibration and then the guys at MDT have thought of everything. You've even got a toolkit under the cheek piece for all of the adjustments when as well. needs must, as they exactly. sometimes do. Exactly, nothing's coming loose and the nicest thing is the neoprene coated yeah, nice. cheap piece. So yeah. it's ambidextrous, it's slim. And the final point on this is they've dropped where the action sits to give you a more linear recoil. So straight back into your And again, it's all about allowing fast, accurate follow up shots for you know the elite PRS. So less, less recoil and less split. Yes. Well, yeah, it's, it's, a it's a lovely chassis. Um, being used to very good effect all around the world already. And the RRP on that one is? Um, this is Elite again. This is coming in at 1894. Um, we, we've got more stock coming because we yeah. keep selling out. Are you serious? It's the way to go. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. Thank you, sir. No problem, fella. Right, we're on the Ireland outdoor stand again. I'm here with AJ from Tier 1 uh, Apparatus. As you can see, there's bipods, there's mounts and rings, there's all sorts. AJ. Right, nice to meet you. Good to spend time with you, mate. It just gives a few a bit of rundown on what, uh, what we've got, what's coming out, what's new. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so here we are at the show. We've got two products that we're launching at the show um, this weekend. Um, the first, this is our this is our new ATAC bipod. So this is really a uh, a marriage between the best features of our lightweight tactical bipod, which has been our most popular selling bipod over the last um, eight about eight years. That we've been we've been doing that, um, and our ELR competition bipod that we launched last year at the show here. So some of the unique features of this bipod, there's nothing else on the market that really has these kind of features. So um, the bipod has a slightly forward offset, almost like a mini spigot mounting position, so you get the bipod nice and, and it's far forward on, on your, your rifle, um, which does aid with a little bit of stability. Um, also, um, we, we've incorporated the, the hip splay adjustment from the, uh, the ELR bipod. So just with a push of the button, you can change the leg angle independently. Um, which is quite nice, so you can go from 90 degrees 
to the kind of standard 45 degree position and you can get super wide, super low. So the legs can be deployed silently by pressing the button or if you're in a hurry, just give them a yank and they'll deploy. Um, again, the legs will go to 45 degrees, so if you need to get really low, um, you can set the bipod to 45 degrees um, and load up the bipod, which is also handy if you're shooting from an elevated position. So this bipod is available in 180mm short leg version, which is this one, and we also do a longer leg 230mm bipod. So we have our modular foot design, so the feet can be swapped, so they come standard with a, with a rubber foot, and they can so be swapped with, over in the field. It comes with different feet? It comes, it comes with the rubber foot, but right. the, um, these feet are optional. Right. Um, and they can just be swapped over, you just need a, a pen or a bullet tip, you can pop, pop a little pin here, pop the foot out, it literally takes a couple of seconds to swap the feet over. Also, the, uh, the mounting system is modular, so you can, you can buy either an Arca or a Picatinny adapter um, with a bipod, and then if you change over from one system to another, you don't have to buy a whole new other bipod, you can just buy the, the, the mounting system. We also have several other options as well for the, uh, the cant adjustment. So this has an optional um, little fitted lever on here. So if you want more, more leverage than just the, uh, the thumb stud, yep. so you can, uh, you can fit the, uh, the, use the key as a one-off, because once you set the tension to your preferred weight and the weight of your rifle, you don't really need to, to, to mess around with it. So, so you can just use the key or you can fit it on with these scrub screws. Yep. Um, we also do a podlock, a podlock lever, which is very popular, nice. which is available as well. So this is the 180mm carbon version of our ATAC bipod, and this has been selling really well at the, the show here this weekend. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It features our smooth cam QD system, yep. which is quite unique, and it works really well, very repeatable. It's the same system that we use on our rings. So another, an, another product that we've launched here at the show is that our- is, That is so light, and it's carbon fiber. Do you sell aluminum as well? We do all aluminum in both the short leg and long leg, and we do carbon fiber in the short leg and long leg. So everything's made in the UK. So it's all made, all made in uh, in North Yorkshire. Um, we make everything in house. Um, every pin, every screw is made made here in the UK. It's made from 7,075 T6 aluminium. So it's aerospace grade aluminium and aerospace grade carbon. So it's incredibly strong, lightweight, durable. Um, like I said, all made it here in the UK. So yep. we're very proud of that. That, that, still able that, to is do something, that. that is something that's very important to me. Well, it is. Well, there aren't many manufacturers still in the UK that, no, are, that, that are doing it. No. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people are designing stuff here in the UK and then farming the, the production elsewhere, where we, we make everything in-house. So um, we're also an OEM for a few top-tier manufacturers as well. So, so, uh, so the good thing is to uh, buy British. You know you're buying British yeah. when you're buying this. Yeah, so um, this, is our, this is our QD monomount, which is brand new. Um, we did have one in black as well, so we're doing them in, in black and in this uh, raw anodized, which is almost like a oh, wow. like a like a flatter yeah. Yeah. Um, anodized color. So it's very durable, all hard anodized in military spec. Yeah. Um, again, uses our smooth cam QD system. What's unique with this QD system that's quite nice um, and, and quite unique is, is if you notice here, we've got a, a flat side and a hook side to, yeah. to the mouse. Yeah, yeah. So basically, when you're mounting it for the first time, hook side on first, plonk it down on your desired rail, and then what you want to do is close the levers yep. the first time, tighten that by hand, yep. as tight as you can get it, yep. then move the lever to the what we call the adjustment position, yep. give it another quarter to half turn, yep. and that's lock it. that down and that'll be set. You don't want to be over tightening no, it, right. because if you're having to yank down and over tighten things, you can introduce potential torque. Something's going to go. Yeah. So um, it only needs to be, um, it, you know, it only needs to be kind of, you know, you feel a bit of resistance, but not much. No, just and, not. And you know when it's right. You yeah, feel that's it. Right. And we found, but when it's set up properly, it's incredibly repeatable. You don't need to adjust the levers in between. I, I, I've seen that so many times. Set and forget, and, and we, we say it's guaranteed within half a minute. Yeah. Um, but we found with a lot, in a lot of cases, there's no there's no shift uh, between you know mounting and mm. removal and remounting the scope. Awesome. So nice. that's our QD oh, mono mount. Same again. Super well. Yeah. So again, we uh. we. Uh, it's basically a development from our cantilever mono mount, which has been really good, especially in the US for the AR platform yeah. rifles, um, where you need a cantilever mount. Yeah. Um, again, super lightweight. There's a lot of mass reduction built in, all hidden away. We like, here at Tier 1, we like to have quite a clean look, um, so there's not lots of little holes and yeah, cuts no, and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, we like to keep it nice and clean, and all the mass reduction is hidden away. Um, again, three recoil lugs on, on these systems. Yeah. So. You know, inc incredibly secure. Super secure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and can take, you know, can take up to 50 cal, no problem. Really, really. Um, we don't. Um, so we do our, we do our, um, our short saddle mono mount, which is really popular on really heavy rifles. This is we're not going to bother doing a QD system in this because we're thinking if you if you want this, you're not going to be wanting QD. No, it's not coming up. Um, <laughs> Once it's on, it's on. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> 
That's nice. awesome. So QDs available in the in the long saddle monomount. Um, we also have our, our our QD tap rings, which are very popular. Again, featuring the same smooth cam attachment system. Same, same setup Brilliant. again. Same principle. Yeah, yeah. same setup. Absolutely. So some of the other products that we do. Um, yeah. Again, I mentioned that the the ATAC bipod is really a development from our ELR competition bipod, um, which is really designed for the uh, the kind of dynamic um, competition shooting market. And this has been really popular. It's, it's an excellent, excellent system. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's really well made. Tight tolerances. Give it a shake. It doesn't rattle. You can crank it right down um, with, the, with the podlock system. Um, again, available. It's got a it's got a locking pan and tilt feature, which is really handy. And again, we've got the uh, adjustable leg splay. So you can get really tall. Throw the legs out to 45 degrees if you need to. Get super wide. So that's our ELR competition bipod. Um, all, all of our products are available from um, your local retailer. Yep. So if, they're, if they've got a Highland Outdoors account, they can get our kit. Or they're available directly direct from us online. Fantastic. That is some awesome information. Yeah, so we, we, we've got lots of traditional Picatinny rings as well. So we do a lot for the air rifle market as well with, uh, with our standard, um, our standard um, dovetail mounts. Yep. Um, we've got Picatinny mounts and we've also we do a blazer specific equipment mount, which is really popular um, with, with you know high-end shooters and hunters. Mm. Um, really, really like these. So all of our all of our scope rings are made from one single block of aluminium. So whether it be our standard rings or our mono mount, yeah. it's either a hockey puck size piece of um, um, 7,000, 75T6 aluminium yeah. or, a, or a block. And basically we use state-of-the-art five-axis CNC machines. The block of aluminium goes in a ring comes out. It just need, then goes for surface finishing and coating. Um, and it's, it, 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 there's, you know, it's, it, we, we, were, we were the pioneers in that technology. It's a one, what we call our one hit manufacturing process. Yep. So there's no, there's no option for any human error when you're changing from mm -hmm. one process to another brilliant. or one, one machining um, process to another. So it's, AJ, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Awesome. I appreciate the information. That's, um, <laughs> I can talk about them all day, I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm sure people listen to it, but thanks for that. I really yeah. Well, if it. anyone's got any questions, just remember, if you, when you're buying this, you're buying 100% British. And it's, it's, what, it's what we need to be doing. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Any questions, get in touch with us. Just get in touch with you. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll answer any questions that you might have. But yeah, thanks for the time. Thanks no, for coming no, to see no, us here no, today. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, thank you.